This is a video that's going to show you my washing machine in South Korea. This is my apartment. It's pretty messy right now. I didn't clean it before making this video. And over here I have my laundry room. Most apartments either have a laundry room or underneath the counter in the kitchen there might be a washing machine or in the bathroom there might be a washing machine. So this is a Daewoo washing machine. It's pretty self-explanatory for the most part. Power. This starts and stops it. and Or sorry, starts and pauses it. And then you have different options here. So this is standard blanket, save money, wool, and soaking. So I usually use the wool because that's supposed to be more delicate with your clothes, a little more, gen a little more gentle. Um, with the wool you don't have as many options for how much water you can use. You can see the water level here. That's pretty self-explanatory for sure. Um, the wool is what I usually use because this washing machine is pretty hard on my clothes. It's a little bit too powerful. It's not really my favorite washing machine. This is the third apartment I've had in Korea and this is my least favorite washing machine. So like I said, I usually use the wool setting. Then also there's, uh, this is coarse. So to be a little bit more rough with your clothes, I'm assuming. I don't mess with any of these. This one is washing. This one is, oh, sorry. I was, I'm stupid. I, was, I forgot, these are like the different cycles as your washing machine is going through and washing your clothes. These will light up and show you where it's at. So, of course, it's just washing your clothes and like, getting it ready, soaking it, and moving it around a little bit. This is doing the real washing. This is rinse. And this is, well, if you translate it, this just says dehydrate. But it isn't a dryer. It's just a spin cycle. You can see with the picture, it's a spin cycle. I wish this was a washer-dryer combination. My last washing machine in Korea was a washer-dryer combination. Those are much better. Dryers are much better than hanging your clothes. It, if you if you have a dryer just use low heat or no heat and you won't shrink your clothes uh, and if you're washing your clothes use cold water and no, low heat or no heat and you won't shrink your clothes if you use high heat or even warm water sometimes shrinks your clothes and then with drying same thing um, warm or hot air can help shrink your clothes so cold water doesn't wash your clothes as well but doesn't shrink them so I always use cold water and then use either low heat or no heat to dry them and then if you pick a different setting like this is standard I can pick any water level same with the blanket setting I think yeah any water level this one is money saving Okay, you can use any water level. The wool, you can only use these two, which is kind of weird. And this is the soaking. Okay, I was guessing you'd be able to use all the water levels. And this is hot water, cold water. And I don't have the water heater turned on when I wash my clothes, so then there isn't the chance of accidentally using hot water. So this is the wash machine. And then over here well technically this is the the um, instant water heater and that's the propane going to the instant water heater so that's where the water heats but this is the control over here for the water heater so it's on off and when it's on you can pick between low low or high and I usually have it on low and that's also the floor heater control 
and I have a different video explaining how to do that but I'll show you real quick here that's just water heater that's room temperature that's floor heating and for the floor heating room temperature you can control the temperature here it's no late November but I haven't or middle of November but I haven't used the heater yet and I'll leave the water heater on actually because I'm going to take a shower pretty soon and I always turn this off when I'm not using hot water because it just saves some money and um, propane or electricity I guess either way it's kind of expensive to have your floor heating going especially but also if you have your water heater going all the time and you're not actually using it it's just a waste of money anyways if you have any questions about the controls for the water heater the controls for the wash machine you can let me know you can also use Papago to translate this stuff Papago works really well just make sure you have a really clear picture of it maybe only try to get a couple things at a time in the picture sometimes the translating app works better if there's only a couple things in there and sometimes it doesn't work as well if you try to take a long picture like that because it I don't know I guess it just doesn't fit in the screen as well it doesn't translate as well and then when you're finished washing your clothes in Korea you air dry this is basically dry I'm just letting it dry a little bit more you I have a drying rack that hangs down from the ceiling. It's a really small drying rack, so it's not that great. And then I have an oscillating fan that I always have on when I'm drying clothes. And it's terrible not having a dryer. Like, it really is. Air drying doesn't work as well. Some people are used to it. They grew up air drying their clothes, and they don't think anything's wrong with it. But honestly, it's not as good as having a dryer. And so if you have a chance to get a dryer, definitely get a dryer, even if it costs a decent amount of money. It's a lot nicer, more convenient, and it gives you better quality, more comfortable clothes. Because clothes are kind of stiff if you don't have a dryer. They're, they're softer with a dryer. And then also, if you don't have a dryer and you air dry, then you have more problems with condensation and mold in your apartment. That's one reason why Korean apartments are known for having mold problems. It's a combination of air drying your clothes and having a wet bathroom. Those are probably the two main issues with having mold in apartments in Korea because Wisconsin, where I'm from, it's really hot and humid during the summer but mold's not as big of an issue because people use dryers and they don't have wet bathrooms. Obviously mold doesn't also likes having a uh, humid environment, but the humidity in Korea is not the main issue for mold in apartments. It's the drying clothes on a regu regular basis, air drying clothes on a regular basis, and the wet bathroom. Anyways, if you have any questions, let me know. Again, Papago is great for translating either a wash machine, a water heater, or anything else. And I didn't clean my apartment before doing this video, so you can see what my apartment looks like on a regular basis. Have a good day.